More than 400 years ago, Korea saw an invasion from Japan known as the Imjin War. Key to stopping that invasion was Joseon's victory in a naval battle. Every year, a special event is taking place to honor this battle and the hero behind the victory. Our An Song Jin headed south to learn more about the history of the battle. 1592, Japan's Hideyoshi regime invaded the Korean Peninsula. It took just 20 days for Japan to capture the Joseon capital, Hanyang. But one battle changed the course of the war. That battle was won by Korea's greatest naval leader, Admiral Lee Sun-shin. The narrow waters below me is where Admiral Lee Sun-shin achieved his famous maritime victory using the islands and bays of Korea's southern coastline to his advantage. The Battle of Hansan Island was crucial in bringing back the momentum for Korea. And to honor this, every year, the south coast city of Tongyang hosts the Hansan Battle Festival. This festival is not about eating, drinking and merely having fun. It inherits the spirit of Admiral E, which was about being loyal to the country, loving his people and being loyal to one's parents. This festival should be known beyond our country. This year is the 63rd festival. The six-day festival covers as much of the city as it can, hosting events by the port, in the city and in other areas. And I really like Korean traditions, and I also wanted to learn more about the uh, the history. I didn't know, I knew about Eastern Shin in general, but I did not know about this battle, so I also got to learn and to enjoy the tradition, so that's why I came. The highlight is a historical reenactment of the Battle of Hansan Island. <laughs> Among the ships is the well-known Kobukson, or turtle ship. A warship used by the Korean Navy, its name derives from its metal covering, which resembles a turtle shell. These ships, alongside Panukson warships, were used in South Korea's strategic attacks to destroy the Japanese fleets. When the Japanese Navy arrived, Admiral Lee Sun-shin ordered the Korean Navy to spread its ships into a crane wing shape known as Hagikjin. Despite Korea having fewer ships, it destroyed many Japanese ships and cut off Japan's supply of food and weapons. The Joseon Naval Headquarters that Admiral Lee commanded was first established on Hansandu Island and later on moved to Tongyang. Tongyang as a whole used to be the headquarters itself. There was no war as devastating as the Imjin War. We were able to win because Admiral Lee put his life out there. The war was on the sea and we had both the Kabuksan and Panoksan warships. Sebyeonggwan Hall, which is the main building and the only building remaining after the annexation by Japan, literally translates to Hall of Washing Weapons, which showed hope that the war would end soon and peace would prosper. The city of Tongyang is famous for its beautiful coastal surroundings. But what makes it really special is the culture and history, especially the great victory that became a foundation for Korea today. An Seong-jin, Arirang News, Tongyang.